Good morning, everybody. We are back on the Appalachian Trail, and today we are going to hit a few more 4,000 foot peaks here in the White Mountains. Uh, I think we got Galehead, um, Zealand, and one other. I can't remember which. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. We're going like 18 miles or so. Um, to Crawford Notch where I'm gonna get picked up by my friend Leo and Lindsay uh, who are friends from bus life uh, back when I lived in the lucky bus and yeah they're gonna take me to their place they live in North Conway New Hampshire um, and I may take a zero day tomorrow which would be real nice uh, and either way, it's going to be really nice to see them and really nice to get to go over to North Conway, which is uh, where I grew up skiing, skiing at Cranmore Mountain out of North Conway. And yeah, I'm really excited. Right now we're on our way to the uh, Galehead Hut uh, to see if they got any leftover breakfast. So we got a couple miles to get to Galehead. Uh, we're going to take a Blue Blaze Trail to hike Galehead. Um, and yeah, go from there. Here we go. All right, y'all, going to Galehead. First, we're hitting the hut to see if they got any leftovers. All right, y'all. We had some nice baked goods and coffee. Man, those were so good. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what it was. It was like this big like muffin cake thing. Uh, anyway, now we're gonna go bag Galehead. Knock off another 4,000 footer on the list and uh, keep it moving. All right, y'all, we are done with our little Blue Blaze side adventure to Galehead. Now we're back on the AT. Heading up to South Twin. Apparently it's gonna be a pretty gnarly climb. That's what a, a trail runner said that is uh, doing the Pemi loop that came through. He said, the climb up to South Twin is pretty gnarly. Let's see. Now we're going to head over. Oh, um that was that was South Twin. The views today are so much better than yesterday. Um much less clouds. I'm really grateful for that. But anyway, now we're going over to Zealand Mountain knock off another 4000 footer. And that'll be 7 4000 footers in 24 hours. That's pretty good, if you ask me. All 
All right, folks, we're on top of Mount Guyot, or Guyot, Guyot. Not really sure. If anybody knows, let me know. We're above 4,000 feet, but I don't know if this actually counts as a 4,000 footer uh, because I don't think that it has enough prominence. Um, sure, that mountain over there is keeping it from being counted as a 4,000 footer. I'm not really sure. Maybe it is a 4,000 footer and it's just like not listed on um, the gut hook app. Uh, but I don't know. We're going over it. And on to Z Mount Zealand. Here we go. Keep it moving. Well, we made it, everybody, to the top of Zealand Mountain. Boom. That's a cool sign. Probably the best sign of any of the 4,000 footers we've seen yet. But, uh, yep, it's a wooded summit. Um, I think, uh, the Zealand Falls is more of the attraction to, uh, Zealand Mountain. So that's where we are headed next. Um, so yeah, that makes seven 4,000 footers in the past 24 hours. Less than 24 hours we've hit seven 4,000 footers. That is so cool. Um, and the White Mountains are treating me very well. Uh, the weather has been pretty decent so far. Um, I mean, we've had some clouds, but at least we have not had any rain and thunderstorms. Uh, so I'm kind of getting off pretty easy. Uh, and also, White Mountains have been pretty kind to my legs. It's difficult hiking, and as you can clearly see, I get very sweaty every day. Um, but you know, it's as I su suspected, it's really not as bad as everybody says. I'm going to say it, the White Mountains are not that bad. It's fun hiking, it's hard hiking, and it's fun. Um, but it has not been just like destroying my spirit and making me more tired than ever. Like, my body feels fine. Um, and yeah, I'm just really enjoying myself. Really grateful to be here and grateful uh, for the strength that I've built up over the course of this journey to allow me to do this. Um, it really has just been like the most like, epic adventure in my life. So thank you guys for being here with me and watching me. Um, I know these videos, I mean, they could kind of get boring, probably. It feels boring for me to, it's, it feels like I'm doing kind of the same thing every day. Um, but truly means a lot that you are here with me, if you're watching this. Thank you. Check this out! This is so cool! Wow! So that was uh, the Zealand Falls hut, guys. And I can't believe it. But I got breakfast leftovers for lunch. Amazing. I was not even remotely expecting that. Um, yeah, so I got food. I love these huts, and I love that they give leftovers to hikers. 
and that they uh, through hikers and they don't waste food and they also uh, kind of show the through hikers some love because uh, even though those huts can be kind of bougie a little bit they're expensive to stay in um, we can still experience it too and they have things for through hikers that may not have hundreds of dollars to spend on a night in a hut. Um, but yeah, really glad I got leftovers. Now we're here at Zeeland Falls. Such a beautiful day. I think I might be a little bit sunburned after today. It's really beaten down. And there's Zealand right there. Wow, I just came down from all the way up top. All the way up there. Crazy. That was Thoreau Falls, another little blue blaze side trail. Um, but I couldn't miss falls after, after Henry David Thoreau, the iconic naturalist nature writer. Um, that was beautiful. Not much else to say about that one. been nice and flat for a while here. So rare in the whites, but I am enjoying the flatness. It's a pretty steep downhill here, but I was expecting this to be a lot rougher than it is. This is a pretty smooth pass. Smooth path. So Really appreciate that. Looks like that just about does it for today's hike. Just walking down to Crawford Notch now uh, to get picked up by Leo. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a nice night. It'll be great to see him. The last time I saw him, I was just talking about doing the AT and uh, we went and skied Wildcat and he was talking about uh, how I'm gonna be going over Wildcat and now I'm here now. I'm actually Like in New Hampshire right near North Conway going over Wildcat in just like two days or three days um, And it's crazy crazy to think about that uh, I actually made it so feeling pretty grateful right now I'm pretty tired too and hungry that's a pretty standard, those are two standard feelings on the AT. Pretty much always tired and hungry. So, yeah, gonna go hang out. And, uh, I don't know. I'm not very good at recording around other people, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, because I'm shy and uncomfortable. Uh, but I'll try to get a couple clips. And one more thing. The Presidentials, the Presidential Traverse, is coming next. And here's what we're looking at.
that is a mountain.